Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating both a half drop repeat and then a brick repeat in Adobe Photoshop. We're going to start with the half drop repeat and this is the typical layout for a half drop repeat. So I have my image open here in Photoshop. I have my version of Photoshop set up so that I can read the document dimensions from the bottom of the screen. That's going to give me an indication as to what sort of size document I want to use for my pattern, so I'm not scaling this image up or down. My current document is 922 by 600, so for a half drop repeat, I'm going to create a brand new document that is twice the width, which would be 1844, that's 922 by 2, but the exact same height as my document, my document 600, the document that has my image in it, 600 high, so this is going to be my new document. To make things easy, I'm going to set some guides. So I'm going to View and then Guides, and I'm going to New Guide Layout. All I want is columns and rows. I don't want any margins at all, so I'm going to delete all of those. I want four columns. I want two rows. That's it. I'll click OK. We'll go back to this document. I'm just going to drag and drop my little ice cream truck into this document. You can see that it's appearing at a good size. What I want is for the center point of this document here to appear over this intersection. So I'm just going to move it until it appears in the correct position. Now I'm going to right click this and choose Convert to Smart Object because that will mean that if I make changes to this shape, the other shapes inside the document are going to change as well. I'll drag and drop this onto the plus icon so I have two of my little vehicles. I'm going to place this one up here so that its center point is over this intersection point. As soon as it's in place, I'm good to go. I don't need my guides anymore, so I'll choose View Guides and Clear My Guides. I'm going to use the new Pattern Preview tool, so I'll go to View and then Pattern Preview. You can only get to this if you have one artboard in your document. If you have multiple artboards, you won't be able to use this, so you will need to probably go back and start again. Let's click OK. I'm going to zoom out because this is our half drop repeat. If we look at any one of these shapes and look to its immediate right, the next shape is a half drop down, a half of the shape down or a half of the shape up. That's a half drop repeat. So I'm ready to go. I'm just going to my Patterns dialog and I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to call this Ice Cream Half Drop and press Enter. If you want it to have a transparent background, then go to your Layers palette and turn off your background. And then you can save it with a transparent background, allowing you to place any background you like on your pattern in future. So let's see now how we would go and create the brick pattern. I'm going to choose View and Pattern Preview to get out of Pattern Preview. Let's create a brand new file. This time the dimensions are going to be different. This time we're going to go the other way. We're going to use the same width as our original document, which is 922 pixels, but we're going to double the height this time, which would go from 600, which was the original document size, to 1200. So I'm just scaling this up based on the artwork that I plan to use. So here is my design. I'm again going to add some guides. So I'm going to View Guides and I'm going to New Guide Layout. This time I want two columns, but I want four rows. So I'll just click OK. Let's go back to my original artwork. I'm going to drag and drop my artwork into my new document. The first piece of artwork, I'm going to make sure lines up to this first intersection of guides inside the document. I'm just looking at getting my center point into position. Once it's in position, I'll right click on the layer and choose Convert to Smart Object and make a duplicate. This duplicate I'm going to place down here so that its center position is over this intersection point. When it's in position, I'm good to go. I'm going to clear my guides with View Guides, Clear Guides, and then I'm going to choose View and then Pattern Preview. Again, so that we can just check to make sure that our pattern looks okay. In this case, we have a brick pattern. So if we look at any one of these shapes, 
Below it, in sort of brick-like formation, are two others of the same shape, but they're offset by half of the width of the original shape. So again, this is a pattern that we can save. I'm going to the Patterns dialog. I'm going to click the plus sign. So this one is Ice Cream Truck Brick Pattern. Now that those patterns are in my Patterns dialog, I can go to View and Pattern Preview to exit out of Pattern Preview. To test these patterns, I'm going to make a larger size document, looking for one that's 6,000 by 6,000 pixels in size. Here is the first of our patterns. This is the brick pattern, and here is the half drop. Just a slightly different arrangement of shapes in the pattern, but easy to create with the new pattern preview tool in Adobe Photoshop. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.